Jamie, uh, Trump celebrity is something, of course, that all the candidates have to deal with. How do you match that kind of personal branding and ease in front of the camera that he has? I mean, he is just clearly very comfortable on TV. He really is. He's unscripted, which is part of his appeal of the Trump brand, is that he comes out and he doesn't say things that are scripted. That makes people really kind of grab onto him and, and, and follow what he's saying. As, a, as the other politicians that are out there, I'm sure, are very frustrated with that because they're saying, hey, when you peel away the onion and get down to the core of who Donald Trump is, is that who you really want? Right now, people are kind of taken by all the, the, the celebrity that goes around it and really po possibly not even thinking very deeply about some of his answers because he doesn't go very deep on his answers. And when he's prodded about that and questions are asked about that, he kind of brushes it off. So I agree with Stephen in the sense that sooner or later, all the other people people who are voting or at least polling for the other candidates are going to have to make a decision and whether or not they jump on the Trump bandwagon is a question that remains to be seen. I would suspect that a lot of those people might find other candidates to, uh, to, to back. You know, part of the conversation that you hear from a lot of people is, how does Trump get away with it? Well, Rudy Giuliani talked to Wolf Blitzer about that yesterday. Listen to this. Somehow he can make that comment, and it doesn't have the same impact as it would if I made that comment. Or um, wasn't appropriate, though, right? No, you shouldn't be talking about our looks. No, of course not. I mean, it usually gets a candidate in trouble, but it has to tell you something is going on if it doesn't get him in trouble. There's something that the public sees here, and I think it's it's probably the fact that he's uh, uh, talking to them straight. It's not the same political, careful, worry about everything they can say. I think the public just uh, uh, loves that. All right, so talking obviously there about the comment that he made about uh, Carly Fiorina. Uh, Jamie, what, what do you think that something is that he talks about that seems to make him so uh, just it's like he's got a shield around him yeah. nobody can touch him uh, i gotta tell you the the core of his brand the appeal of his brand is that he's plain speaking he gets away with stuff like that that other politicians would never get away with in a million years he says sexist things he says things that could be considered racist he even pokes at uh, uh john mccain how does he get away with that well people must be so frustrated with the status quo that they're saying we're going to forgive that and and get somebody in who's going to be plain speaking and that's the that's the appeal of donald trump is that he's saying things that quote unquote people say behind the scenes only he's saying it in front of a camera and getting away with it I'm surprised, as surprised about that as anybody is. Okay, Stephen, real quickly, we only have a couple of seconds, but do you think that this country is ready to hire, as, as many have called him, Trump an entertainer over a politician? I don't think so, but, you know, and history would uh, argue against that, but this is an election that's, uh, you know, trashed every expectation and all the expertise of the pundits. So uh, I guess that's why we have elections. We're going to find out. All right. Stephen Collinson and Jamie Turner, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. We appreciate it.